pirate branches rises from indentures free. Strong his arm and keen his senses, he's a pirate now indeed. Here's good luck to fairies, ventures, fairies, out of his indentures. <laughs> Two and twenty now he's rising, and alone he's fit to fly. Which we're bent on signalizing with unusual hey. rare oh. Here's good luck to fairies, ventures, fairies, out of his indentures. Frederick Hudson, today you rank as a full-blown member of our band. Hey! Oh, my friends, I thank you all from my heart for your kind wishes. Uh. Would that I could repay them as they deserve. What do you mean? Today I am out of my indentures, and today I leave you forever. Oh, but this is quite unaccountable. A keener hand at scuttling a cunada or cutting out a piano never shipped a handspike. Yes! Yes, I have done my best for you. And why? Because it was my duty under my indentures. <laughs> And I am the slave of duty. Yeah. As a child, I was regularly apprenticed to your band. It was through an error. Uh, no matter, the mistake was ours and not yours. And I was in honor bound by it. Uh, but an it. error? What error? I may not tell you. It would reflect upon my well loved Ruth. Nay, dear master, my mind has long been gnawed by the cankering tooth of mystery. Better have it out at once. Oh. When Frederick was a little lad, he grew so brave and daring. His father thought he'd apprentice him to some career seafaring. I was a lass, his nursery maid, and so it fell to my lot to take and bind the promising boy, apprentice to a pilot. A life not bad for a hardy lad, though surely not a high lot. Though I'm a nurse, you might do worse than make your boy a pilot. <laughs> I was a stupid nursery maid on breakers, all was steering. And I did not catch the word a right through being hard of hearing Mistaking my instructions which within my brain did gyrate I took and bound this promising boy Apprentice to a pirate Oh! Oh! A sad mistake it was to make And doom him to a vile lot What? I bound him to a pirate you Instead of to a pilot Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, But I hadn't the face to return to my place and break it to my master. A nursery maid is not afraid of what you people call work. I made up my mind to go as a kind of piratical maid of all work. And that is how you find me now. A member of your shy lot Which you wouldn't have found If he'd been bound Apprentice to A pilot Pardon, Frederick Pardon? All oh, right, sweet one. I have long since pardoned you. The two words were so much alike. Oh, they were. They still are, though years have rolled over their heads. But this afternoon, my obligation ceases. Individually, I love you all with affection unspeakable. Okay. <laughs> but collectively, I look upon you with a disgust that amounts to absolute detestation. Ah! Oh, pity me, my beloved friends, for such is my sense of duty that... Once out of my indentures, I shall feel myself bound to devote myself 
heart and soul, to your extermination. Poor lad! Poor lad! Frederick, if you conscientiously feel it's your duty to destroy us, well, we cannot blame you for acting upon that conviction. Always act in accordance with the dictates of your conscience, my boy, and chance the consequences. Yes! And besides, we can offer little temptation for you to remain here with us. We don't seem to make piracy pay. Hey, well, I'm sure I don't know why, uh, but we don't. So, well, I know why, but alas, I mustn't tell you, it would not be right. Ah, ah, ah. Why not? You see, according to the sun, it's only, um, half past eleven, and you are one of us. Until the... Oh, jolly good. Spiffing. Thanks very much. 11.33. <laughs> and you're one of us until the clock strikes 12. Really? Right. True. And until then, you are bound to protect our interests. Mm. Well, then, it is my duty as a pirate to tell you that you are too tender-hearted. <laughs> For instance, you make it a point of never attacking a weaker party than yourselves. And when you attack a stronger one, <laughs> you invariably get thrashed. It's fair. Yeah. 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 That is some truth in that. <laughs> Then again, you make it a point of never molesting an orphan. Well, well of course, course not. We are all orphans ourselves and we know what it's like. Ah, yes, but it's got about. And what is the consequence? Everyone we capture says he's an orphan. The last three ships we took proved to be manned entirely by orphans. We had to let them go. Huh? One would think Great Britain's mercantile navy was recruited solely from her orphan asylums, uh, which we know is not the case. Yes, but hang it all, you wouldn't have us absolutely merciless. Well, there's my difficulty. Until 12 o'clock, I would. After 12, I wouldn't. Oh, was ever a man placed in so delicate a situation? And Ruth, your own Ruth, whom you love so well, and who's won her middle-aged way into your boyish heart. <laughs> What's to become of her? Uh, Dad, <clears throat> well, we, we thought we... Um... Oh, yes, yes, of course. Of course, if he must go, he can take you with him. Yes! Well, Ruth... I feel some little difficulty about you. It is true I admire you very much, but I have been constantly at sea since I was eight years old, and yours is the only woman's face I've seen in that time. I think it is a sweet face. It is! Oh, it is! I say I think it is. <laughs> that is my impression, but as I have never had the opportunity of comparing you with other women, it is just possible I may be mistaken. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> oh, what a terrible thing it would be if I were to marry this innocent person and then find out she's on the whole, you know, plain. Oh! 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 Ruth is very... well... Yes, from this very well indeed. Well, indeed. Well, yes, there are the remains of a fine woman about Ruth. Do you really think so? Oh, I do. Well, then, I will not be so selfish as to take her from you. In justice to her and in consideration for you, I will leave her behind. <laughs> oh. 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 No. 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 No, Frederick, no, this this cannot be. We uh, we are rough men. Rough! Yes, and we lead a rough life. Rough, rough! <laughs> but we are not so utterly heartless as to deprive thee of thy love. But I think I'm right in saying there is not one here that would rob thee of this inestimable treasure. But all the world holds dear. Not one! No, I told you there wasn't. Keep thy love, Frederick. Keep thy love. Oh, you're very good, I'm sure. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, look, it's the top of the tide and we must be off. Frederick, farewell. When your process of extermination begins, let our deaths be as swift and painless as you could... <laughs> as you can conveniently make them. I will. By the love I have for you, I swear it. Would that you could render this extermination unnecessary by accompanying me back to civilization. Oh, uh, uh, no, Frederick, no. I, 
I don't think much of our profession, but contrasted with respectability. <laughs> we are comparatively honest. No, Frederick, I shall live and I shall die. Ah! <laughs> A pirate king! <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, bets are part to live and die Under the brave black flag I fly Then play a sanctimonious part With a pirate head and a pirate heart So away to the cheating world go you Go on away Where pirates all are well to do But I'll be true To the song I sing and live and die ah! A pirate king For I am a pirate king hey! no! And if it's, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king I am a pirate king you know and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate. Sing, 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 Sonny, hey, pay attention well, when I'm talking to you, Sonny. You yes, just caused yes. a lot of damage for you on that rug. Right? I warned you before right. about this. On your big size 13 and a half boots, but I'm a pirate. It's a very expensive musical instrument down here, and I saw you knock the black flag down there. How about you, my man? I warned you, no. Go back in the barrel. <laughs> I sing a few more shits, it's true that a well bred man I don't do. Hey! Hey! Uh, hey! Hey! Try doing that with a little white pointed stick, huh? <laughs> uh, hey! Yeah! Must manage somehow to get through. No dirty work that ever I do. Oh, no, 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 please. No, 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 please, please, no. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> For I am a pirate.
Change your underwear. Ha <laughs> 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 Boat ready. Pa. Ha 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 ha. quite candid with you. You are very dear to me, as you know, but I must be circumspect. You see, you are considerably older than I, and a lad of 21 usually looks for a wife of 17. 17? You find me a wife of a thousand? <laughs> no, but I will find you a wife of 47, and that is quite enough. Oh, oh Ruth, tell me candidly and without reserve, compared with other women, how are you? I will answer you truthfully, Master. I have a slight cold, but otherwise I'm quite well. Well, I'm sorry if you're cold, but I was referring rather to your personal appearance. Compared with other women, are you beautiful? I have been told so, dear Master. Ah, oh, lately? No, years and years ago. <laughs> Well, what do you think of yourself, then? It's a delicate question to answer, but I think I'm a fine woman. And that is your candid opinion. Oh, yes, I'd be deceiving you if I told you otherwise. Oh, thank you, Ruth. I believe you, for I'm sure you would not practice on my inexperience. I wish to do the right thing. And if, I say, if you are a truly fine woman, then your age will be no obstacle to our union. Surely I hear voices. Who has ventured to approach our all but inaccessible lair? Can it be Custom House? Yes! No, it does not sound like Custom House. Confusion, it is the voices of young girls. If he sees them, I am lost. Oh, by all that's marvelous, a bevy of beautiful maidens. Lost, lost, lost! Oh. How lovely, how surpassingly lovely is the plainest of them. Oh, what grace, oh, what delicacy, oh, what refinement. And Ruth, Ruth told me she was beautiful. Oh, false one, you have deceived me. I have deceived you. Yes. Deceived me. You told me you were fair as gold. And master, am I not so? And now I see you're plain and old. I'm sure I'm not a jot so. Upon my innocence you play. I'm not the one to plot so. Your face is lined, your hair is grey. It gradually got so. Faithless woman to deceive me, I who trusted so. Master, master, do not leave me, hear me ere you go. Faithless woman. Master, master. Faithless woman. Master, master, do Faithless not leave me, do not leave me, me hear I me. I who trusted so. Faithless master, woman, master, do not leave me, I who trusted Reflecting 
Oh, do not be rejecting. Take a maid and tender her affection raw and green at very highest rating has been accumulating summer 17 summer 17 don't be loving master crush me shall I do before these gentle maidens? I dare not show myself in this alarming costume. No, no, I must remain in close concealment until I can appear in decent clothing.
<laughs> what a picturesque spot. <laughs> I wonder where we are. And I wonder where Papa is. We have left him ever so far behind. Oh, he'll be here presently. Remember, poor Papa's not as young as we are. <laughs> and we have come over some rather difficult country. <laughs> Cigarettes! <laughs> <laughs> Why, in all probability, we are the first human beings ever to set foot on this enchanting spot. Oh, except for the mermaids. It's the very place for mermaids. <laughs> We're only human beings down to the waist. And who can't be said strictly to set foot anywhere. Tails they may, but feet they cannot. <laughs> <laughs> shall we do until Papa arrives? Well, we are entirely alone. Oh, and the sea is as smooth as glass. Perhaps we could oh, take off our shoes. <laughs> and stockings. <laughs> and paddle. Yes, yes, the very thing. Stop, ladies, pray. A man. I had intended not to intrude myself upon your notice in this effective but alarming costume. But under these peculiar circumstances, I feel it is my bounden duty to inform you that your proceedings will not be unwitnessed. But who are you, sir, speak? I am a pirate. A pirate? Horror! Ladies, do not shun me. This evening I renounce my vile profession. And to that end, O oh pure and peerless maidens, O oh blushing gods of ever blooming beauty, I saw at heart, I saw at heart. Implore your kind assistance. How pitiful his tale! How rare his beauty! How pitiful his tale! How rare One maiden breast Which does not feel The moral beauty Of making Worldly interest Subordinate To sense of duty Who would not give Up willingly All matrimonial ambition to rescue such a one as I from his unfortunate position, from his position.
Oh, is there not one maiden here Whose homely face and bad complexion Have caused all hope to disappear Of ever winning man's affection To such a one If such there be I swear by heaven's arch above you If you will cast your eyes on me However plain you be I love you However plain you If you will cast your eyes on me, however plain you be, I Return. I wonder if 
How beautifully blue the sky, the glass is rising very high. Continue fine, I hope it may and yet it rain. But yesterday, tomorrow it may pour again. I hear the country wants some rain. People say I know not why that we shall have a warm you like tomorrow. It may pour again, I hear the country wants some rain. People say I know not why that we shall have a warm you like tomorrow. It may pour again, I hear the country wants some rain. Did ever pirate roll his soul? Way to find his soul with peace and virtue beaming. How beautifully blue the sky, the glass is rising very high. Continue fine, I hope it may and yet it rain, but yesterday continue fine. I hope it may and yet it rain, but yesterday. Did How ever pirate love was able to his mission to find himself with nothing left? We must not lose our senses. Men who stick at no offenses will anon be here. Pirates see their dreadful trade is. Pray you get you hence, young ladies, while the coast is clear. No, we must not lose our senses. If we stick at no offenses, we should not be here. Pirates see their dreadful trade is. Nice companions for young ladies. Let us disarm. Hum a few of which I've heard the music's been a four. Do 
Original Puccini wrote, but still in matters vegetable, animal and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. But still in matters vegetable, animal and mineral, he is the very model of a modern major general. Swap? <laughs> Silly duffer. What? Oh, not you. Fellow with the apple in his head. <laughs> yes. Going up. In effect, when I know what is meant by mamelon and ravelin, <laughs> when I can tell at sight a mauser rifle from a javelin. Oh, oh just kidding. <laughs> when uh, such affairs as stalkies and and <clears throat> surprises, I'm more wary at. Where did they come from? <laughs> oh, there you are, my dear. Put those in some water, will you? Yes. And then wash your hands. <laughs> and oh, when I know precisely what is meant by commissariat. Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. It's a good word, commissariat. It means something witty. Yes, witty. As in half witty. <laughs> when I have learned what progress has been made in modern gallery bank, when I know more of tactics than a novice in another day, in a short, when I've a smattering of elemental strategy. Ooh, that's a hard rhyme. <laughs> Anybody, any ideas? Uh, what about you fellows down there in the cheap seats, yeah? No. Oh, I've got one. Oh. You'd say a better major general is never sat at you. Say a better major general is never sat at you. Say a better major general is never sat at you. Say a better major general is never sat at you. Rode a horse. My military knowledge, though I'm plucky and adventurous, has only been brought down to the beginning of the century. But still, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, I am the very model of a modern major general. But still, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, he is the very model of a modern major general. Umbrellas on the chin and yeah. flowers. We like the medals too, don't we? Yes, yes, I, yes, I got those on the front here. Oh, really? Yes, I had two on the back here, but they fell off. Yes, well, never mind. <laughs> Do some more, will you? <clears throat> more? <laughs> Silly man. There isn't any more. No, 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 no. We want some more. Make something up. Both of you. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Oh, oh, steady on, steady on. Oh, goodness. Another feisty fellow. Uh, something ridiculous for the fellow in the purple pants. What tempo would you like it, sir? Tempo? Yes. I think we'd better do it quickly. Uh, Could we have that in Italian, please? Italian? Yes. Expresso cappuccino. I am the very model of a modern major general. I've information seminal and cultural and federal and regional and functional and fictional and textural. Abominable. I can't say that word. <laughs> Terrible, scriptural, confessional, and sexual. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, slipped out. Now get away from my daughter, will you? That sort of thing around here, disgusting. Impeccable, improbable, oh, deplorable, debatable. Settle down, that's enough of that. Unpleasant. Undemanding, unimportant, untranslatable. Yes. <laughs> Imponderable, mystical, 
ballistical and a germinal. Oh, in effect, so bloody boring that it's positively terminal. It's so bloody boring that it's positively terminal. It's so bloody boring that it's positively terminal. It's so bloody boring that it's positively terminal. So let's conclude this larrikin commercial muddy grubber quick, or I'll be singing this song till Australia's are a public. Hey! But with a dash of bitters or some tonic in your general, I am the very bottle of a Perrier that's mineral. <laughs> What? Um, I'm a little ahead of my time. <laughs> Why don't we rewind a bit? <laughs> but the steel in matters vegetable, animal and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. <laughs> And now that I've introduced myself, I should like to have some idea hmm, of what's going on. Uh, well, well, I'll, I'll explain in two words. Uh, uh, we propose to marry your daughters. Dear <laughs> me! Against our wills, Papa! Against our wills! Yes, I bet. <laughs> well, you mustn't do that. May I ask? Uh, oh, this is a very picturesque uniform. Gorgeous. Yes. But I'm not familiar with it. Well, what are you? A bunch of thespians? <laughs> Beg your pardon? Are you or any of your bunch thespians? Hmm? <laughs> Church of England. Yes. Yes. And single gentleman, what? What? Yes. Oh. yes, yes, I gathered that. Anything else? No, no, nothing else. Don't believe him, Papa. What? The pirates. The famous pirates of Penzance. Ray! Thank you, my dear. The pirates of Penzance. Ray! Remind me not to say that again. <laughs> What's that? The pirates of Penzance. Ray! Give myself a cardiac. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, I've often heard of them. All except for this gentleman, what? who was a pirate once, but who is out of his indentures today and who means to lead a blameless life evermore. <laughs> wait a bit, wait a bit. Yeah, put your thingy down. <laughs> so, you're pirates. <laughs> and you're unemployed. <laughs> That's a toss up. <laughs> Well, I object to pirates as sons-in-law. Well, we object to major generals as mothers-in-law. Yes. But we are prepared to um, waive that point. You know, we don't press it, you understand? We look over it. <laughs> ah, an idea. <laughs> And do you mean to say that you would deliberately rob me of these, the sole remaining drops of my old age, and leave me to go through the remainder of my life unfriended, <coughs> unprotected, <coughs> and alone? Yes, that's the idea. Oh, Tell me, have you ever known what it is to be an orphan? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. I ask you, have you ever known what it is to be an orphan? Orphan? Yes, orphan. Have you ever known uh, what it is to be one? Uh, yes, I say, orphan. Orphan, orphan, orphan. No, 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 excuse me. I, I, I don't think we quite understand one another. I ask you, have you ever known what it is? 
Have you ever known what it is to be an orphan? And you say orphan. Yes. Now, as I understand you, you are merely repeating the word orphan to show that you understand me. I didn't repeat the word orphan. I'm sorry, you did indeed. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I heard you distinctly. Well, you heard wrong. I didn't. No, I didn't, and you did. <laughs> Don't be childish. I didn't. <clears throat> I am not being childish. <laughs> you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Did it? 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 Did. 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 But not often! Stop! I see where we're getting confused. When you say orphan, do you mean orphan a person who has lost his parents or orphan <laughs> frequently? Oh! Yes. Frequently. Oh! I, 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 I beg your pardon, I see what you mean. Yes, uh, often. Um, uh, frequently. So you see it often frequently? No, only once. Exactly. You said often frequently, only once. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, men of dark and dismal fate, forego your cruel employ. Have pity on my lonely state. I am an orphan boy. An orphan boy, an orphan boy, how sad, an orphan boy. These children whom you see are all that I can call my own. Oh, fellow. Take them away from me and I shall be indeed Alone, poor fellow, if pity you can feel, leave me my soul. Remaining a joy, see at your feet they kneel. Get down. Your hearts you cannot steal. Against the sad, sad tale of a lonely <coughs> orphan boy.
hearts we cannot see against the tale of the lonely But it doesn't diminish my glory For they would have taken my daughters over the billowy waters If I hadn't an elegant diction Indulged in an innocent fiction Which is not in the same category as telling a regular terrible story If he's telling a terrible story Which was done by a medicine's glory This one would have taken his daughters over the billowy waters There is easy an elegant diction To call it an innocent fiction But it comes in the same category as telling a regular terrible story This is the elegant diction No! 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 
got you in the calm excellence of your wisdom reconcile it with your conscience to say something that will relieve my father's sorrow? I will try, dear Mabel. But why does he sit here night after night in this drafty old ruin? Why do I sit here? To escape from the pirate's clutches. I described myself as an orphan. And heaven help me. I am no orphan. I come here to humble myself before the tombs of my ancestors and to implore their pardon. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. <laughs> For having brought dishonor on the family escutcheon. Oh, but you forget, sir, you only bought the property a year ago and the stucco on your baronial castle is scarcely dry. <laughs> Frederick, in this chapel are ancestors. You cannot deny that. With the estate, I bought the chapel and its contents. I do not know whose ancestors they were, but I know whose ancestors they are. And I shudder to think <laughs> that their descendants, by purchase, if I may so describe myself, should have brought disgrace upon what I have no doubt was an unstained escutcheon. <laughs> oh, be comforted. Oh, be comforted. Oh, for God's sake, be comforted. <laughs> Had you not acted as you did, those reckless men would have assuredly called in the nearest clergyman and married your family on the spot. <laughs> I thank you for your profit, solace, but it is unavailing. I assure you, Frederick, that such is the anguish and remorse I feel at the abominable... At the abominable... Such is the anguish and remorse I feel at the abominable... Snowman? No! The abominable... Falsehood. Yes, falsehood. Thank you, Frederick, by which I escaped these easily deluded pirates that I would go to their tall, simple-minded, gallivanting, purple-painted, yet strangely attractive chief, this very night, and confess all. Did I not fear that the consequences would be that the consequences would be... <laughs> Most disastrous to myself. At what time does your expedition march against these scoundrels? At eleven, and before midnight, I hope to have atoned for my involuntary association with the pestilent scourges by sweeping them from the face of the earth. Oh. <laughs> and then, dear Mabel, you will be mine. And are your devoted followers at hand? They are. They only await my orders. Then, Frederick, let your escort, Lionhearted, be summoned to receive a general's blessing. Here they depart upon their dread adventure. Dear sir, they come. I would uncomfortable feel And we find the wisest thing Is to slap our chests and sing Tarantara For when threatened with a mute And your heart 
printed in your boots. There is nothing printed round like the top, but smuffle sounds like the top, but smuffle sounds the renter up, 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 rock, 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 the renter up, the renter up, the renter up. Now for the pirate's lair, all joy unbounded, oh sweet relief, oh rapture unexampled, at last time may atone in some slight measure for the repeated acts of theft and pillage, at which had a sense of duty's stern dictation. I, circumstances, victim, have been guilty. Young Frederick. Who calls? Your late commander. And I, your little Ruth. Oh, mad intruders, how dare you face me? Know ye not, oh rash ones, that I have doomed you to extermination? I'm oh, silly. Have mercy on us. Hear us ere you slaughter. I do not think 
I ought to listen to you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Yet, mercy should alloy our stern resentment. And so, I will be merciful. Say on. When you had left our pirate fold, we tried to lift our spirits faint. According to our custom old, with quips and quibbles quaint. But all in vain the quips we heard, we lay and sobbed upon the rocks. Until to somebody occurred a startling paradox A paradox A paradox A most ingenious paradox With quips and quibbles heard in flocks None to beat that paradox A paradox, a paradox, a, paradox, a most ingenious paradox <laughs> This paradox We Knew your taste for curious scripts, for pranks and contradictions queer And with the laughter on our lips we wished you there to hear We said if we could tell it him How Frederick would the joke enjoy And so we risked both life and limb to tell it to our boy That paradox! That paradox! That most ingenious paradox With quips and quibbles hard in flocks None to beat this paradox a paradox, a paradox, a most ingenious paradox. Ah, <laughs> this paradox this way. You ready, Freddy? Yes, yes. That's a good one. Right. <clears throat> For some ridiculous reason to which, however, I have no desire to be disloyal. Some person in authority, I don't know who. Very likely the Astronomer Royal has decided that although for such a beastly month as February 28 days as a rule are plenty that is one year in every four when his days shall be reckoned as nine and twenty and through some singular coincidence I shouldn't be surprised if it were owing to the agency of an ill-natured Fairy, you are the victim of this clumsy arrangement, having been born in leap year on the 29th of February. And so, by a simple arithmetical process, you will easily discover. Ho, 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 ho. This is the good bit. Stop me if you heard it before. Though you've lived. For 21 years, yet, if you go by birthdays, you're only five. <laughs> and a little bit over. <laughs> Hear me, let's see. Yes, yes, with yours my figures do agree. <laughs> <laughs> How quaint the ways of paradox That common sense she gaily mocks Though counting in the usual way Years 21 I've been alive right. And yet right. reckoning by my natal day mm -hmm. Yet reckoning by my natal day One, two, three, four I am a little boy of five He is a little boy of five I <laughs> don't <laughs> A paradox, a paradox, a most ingenious paradox. <laughs> this paradox, <laughs> a curious paradox, a <laughs> most ingenious paradox. <laughs> Oh, upon my word. Oh! 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 
oh, this is most curious, <laughs> most absurdly whimsical. <laughs> Five and a quarter, eh? Um, oh, you wouldn't think it to look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and glad now I'll be bound, your spaders. You never would have forgiven yourself when you discovered you'd killed two of your comrades. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, my comrades? Yes, I'm afraid you don't appreciate the delicacy of your position, Frederick. You see, you were apprenticed to us. Until I reached my 21st year. Ah, no, 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 not quite. <laughs> you were apprenticed to us until you reached your 21st. <clears throat> Dear Pirate King, I love your purple pants. Meet me later. No! That's the wrong one! <laughs> <clears throat> you were uh, ap apprenticed to us <clears throat> until you reached your 21st birthday. Yes, and going by birthdays, you are as yet only five. And a quarter. Oh, you don't mean to say you're going to hold me to that? Oh. No. <laughs> 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 no, <that's>... <laughs> <laughs> yes. We merely remind you of the fact and leave the rest to your sense of duty. Your sense <laughs> of duty? <laughs> oh. Don't put it on that footing. <laughs> oh, as I was merciful to you just now. <laughs> Be merciful to me. Oh, no. Oh, I implore you not to insist upon the letter of your bond, just as the cup of happiness is at my lips. We insist on nothing. We content ourselves with merely pointing out to you. Your duty? Yes. Your duty! Do you understand? I think I do. With vigor unshaken, the steps shall be taken. Very neatly planned. I think so too. We'll readily bend it, you'll never regret it. For duty, duty must be done. The rule applies to everyone. And painful though that duty be, to shirk the task for fiddle dee dee. To shirk the task for fiddle dee dee. To shirk the task. To shirk the task for fiddle dee fiddle dee fiddle dee fiddle dee fiddle dee fiddle dee. Whoa! Oh, we... And that was all. It's just to inspire the prodigal pirate. I'm glad I think and walking tall. Well, just a bit scary. In that bag of sherry. Cause duty, duty must be done. The rule applies to everyone. And painful though that duty be. To shirk the task for fiddle dee To shirk the task for fiddle dee dee. To shirk the task. To shirk the task for fiddle dee 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 in your employ, we're setting sail tonight. And the booty's assigned to his duty. For duty, duty must be done. The rule applies to everyone. And painful though that duty be, to shirk the task for fiddle dee dee. To shirk the task for fiddle dee dee. To shirk the task. To shirk the task of fiddle dee 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 dee. All right. Fiddle dee 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 dee. Yes. It's on medication. Well, you have appealed to my sense of duty, and my duty is only too clear. Oh, I abhor your infamous calling. Oh, I shudder at the thought I've ever been mixed up We've with it. We've got him. And yet, duty is before all. And at any price, I will do my duty. Oh, 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 oh. Bravely spoken, Frederick. Come, you are one of us once more. Away. Oh, lead on. I follow. Oh, horror! What's, What's the matter? matter? What I tell you? No, no, I mustn't. And yet, as one of your bears... Frederick, speak out! I charge you by the sense of conscientiousness to which we have never yet appealed in vain. <laughs> I just, uh, it's a bit sort of bogged down with plot there, so I sort of colour and movement, you know. It's, 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 
sir. But, but, what? Sorry? Oh, the wall of the Well! General Stanley. Yes? The, the father of my Mabel. Yes? General Stanley escaped from you on the plea that he was an orphan. He did? Yes, you were there. <laughs> oh, yes, and he... Right, and... Uh, and he, <coughs> that's right, yes, yes. Well? Oh, it breaks my heart to betray the honoured father of the girl that I adore. Oh. Break it. Yes. <laughs> and yet, as one of your band, I have no alternative. No, 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 no. no. It is my duty to tell you yes. that General Stanley... Yes. Is? Is. No? No. Oh. General Stanley... Yes. Is? Yes. Yes. No. 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 Oh. What? <laughs> well, it's better than being a... Oh! <laughs> When you say orphan... Oh! Do you mean... a person who has lost his parents, or... orphan... frequently? Ah. A person who has lost his parents. What?! And more than that... he never was one. Understand. Ouch. <laughs> that in order to save his contemptible life, he dared to practice an acrimonious simplicity. <laughs> then our revenge shall be swift and kind. No, 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 no. Merciful. No, no, no. Swift and, you know, abominable. Oh, well done. Collect our band! Not you. <laughs> and attack from Modern Castle this very night! But stay! Not a word! He is doomed! Away, away! My heart's on fire! I burn this base deception to repay! This very night, my vengeance sire! Will God itself be gone! Away, away! Away, away! I expire! I find my duty hard to do today! <laughs> 
my heart is filled with anguish dire. It strikes me to the core away, away. With loss and foul, he tricked us of our pride. And vengeance howl the pilot so decide. A major stern, he softened with his lies. A noon returns, and like the traitor dies. Yes, yes, tonight the traitor dies. Yes, yes, tonight the traitor dies. Tomorrow. His girls likewise They will welter in sorrow The ones are smart In their nature they cherish And all who plot To others it shall perish Tonight he dies so early tomorrow His girls likewise they will welter in sorrow The ones are smart in their nature they cherish And all who plot to others it shall perish Away, away, away Tonight the traitor dies Away, away tonight Tonight Prepared your gallant crew await you. My Frederick in tears, it cannot be that lion heart comes at the coming conflict. No, Mabel, no. A terrible disclosure has just been made. Mabel, my dearly loved one, I bound myself to serve the pirate captain until I reached my one and twentieth birthday. What you are, twenty-one? I've just discovered that I was born. And that birthday will not be reached by me till 1940. Oh, horrible. Catastrophe appalling. And so farewell. Oh, Frederick, here. Tonight I quit these walls The thought my soul appalls But when stern duty calls I must obey Nay, Mabel, nay But duty's name The soul my soul appalls But when stern duty calls I must obey
must I leave thee here in endless night to dream? Where joy is dark and drear and sorrow supreme. In 1940, I of age shall be. I'll then return and claim you, I declare it. It seems so long. Swear that till then, you will be true to me. Faithful to her soon, till we are wed and even after, and even after, oh here is love, and here is truth, and here is food for joyous laughter, she will be faithful to her soon, till we are wed and even after, she will be faithful to her soon, till we are wed and even And in mind. Tarantara, tarantara. Oh, we are timidly inclined. Tarantara. 
and anything but blind. Tarantula, tarantula. To the danger that's behind. Tarantula. Yet when the danger's near, tarantula, tarantula. we manage to appear tarantula. as insensible to fear as anybody here as anybody here. Tarantula, tarantula. Rock, 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 rock. Sergeant approach. <laughs> Young Frederick was to have led you to death and glory. That is not a pleasant way of putting it. Quite right. No matter, he will not so lead you, for he has once more allied himself with his old associates. He has a contemporary. Yes. You speak falsely. You know nothing about it. He has acted nobly. He has acted nobly. Dearly as I loved him before, his heroic sacrifice to his sense of duty has endeared him to me tenfold. He has done his duty, I will do mine. <laughs> Go ye and do yours. Right on, boys. This is perplexing. You can say that again. This is perplexing. You can say ah! No matter, boys. Our course is clear. We must do our best to capture these pirates Rah! alone. <laughs> It is most distressing to us to be the agents whereby our erring fellow creatures are deprived of that liberty which is so dear to us all. But we should have thought of that before we joined the force. We should. Well, it's too late now. Look. When a felon's not engaged in his employment, his employment, or maturing his felonious little plan, little plans, his capacity for innocent enjoyment, Sent enjoyment, is just as great as any honest man. Honest man, our feelings we with difficulty smother, difficulty smother, when constabulary duties to be done, to be done, are take one consideration. With another, with another, a policeman's lot is not a happy one. Ah, ah, ah. When constabulary duties to be done, to be done, a policeman's lot is not a happy one. Happy one. When the enterprising burglar's not a burgling, not a burgling. When the cutthroat isn't occupied in crime, no crime. He, he loves to hear that little brook a gurgling, brook a gurgling. And listen to the merry village time. When the cutthroat is jumping on his mother, on his oh, mother. oh, he loves to lie a basking in the sun. In the sun. Oh, take one consideration. With another, with another, a policeman's lot is not a happy one. Ah, ah, when constabulary duties to be done, to be done, a policeman's lot is not a happy one. Ah, I'm <laughs> gonna
It was a drama, sorry. Yeah. 
wait a minute. Just a minute, please. This is very important. Please, this is, this is, we haven't finished yet. Some very important dialogue to do. We haven't finished yet. Away. Hush, hush. Not a word. I see a light inside. Here yeah, the light's great. <laughs> the Major General comes. <laughs> so quickly hide. Yes, yes, yes. The Major General comes. Yes, yes. The Major General comes. Yes, yes. The Major General comes. What's going on? Oh! Tormented with the anguish dread of falsehood unatoned, I lay upon my sleepless bed and tossed and turned and groaned. The man who finds his conscience ache No peace at all enjoys And as I lay in bed awake I thought I heard a noise He thought he heard a noise Ha-ha! No. All is still in Dale on Hill. My mind is set at ease. <laughs> so still the scene, it must have been the sighing of the Comes the loving breeze, setting nature all a quiver, rustling through the trees. Through the trees, and the brooking, rippling measure, lasts for very long, while the poplars, in their pleasure, wave their arms above. Yes, the trees for very long. Yet the breeze is but a rover when he wings away. Who can cobble mourn a lover sighing well a day? Well a day. Ah, the doing and undoing that the road could tell. When the breeze is out a wooing, who can woo us away? Thy dream is over, for thy love is but a rover. Sad the lot of poplar trees, courted by a fickle breeze. 
yes, yes, with all their faults, they love me. Yes, yes, with all their faults, they love me. Away with them and place them at the bar. One moment. Let me tell you who they are. These are no members of the common throng. These are all noble men who have gone wrong. They are all noble men who have gone wrong. No. Englishmen unmoved that statement hears Because with all our folks We love our house of peers Come with me, my dear I pray you pardon me, ex-pirate king Peers will be peers What? 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 Yes, yes. And the youth will have its fling. <laughs> Go on, have a fling. Go on. <laughs> Resume your ranks. I'm so glad you're not thespians. And take my daughters, all of whom are Presbyterians. <laughs> Oh, wandering ones, be 
happy marriage you teach to be done, to be done. A policeman's lot is not a happy one. Finally now, a member of your shy lot, which you wouldn't have found if he'd been found. Pirate, silly pirate! In shorty matches, venture temple, animal and mineral, I am the very model of a modern beach. Pirate! 